Oh, wow. Oh, thank God. Wow, I'm gonna be a mom. Whoa. <laughs> thank you so much. I gotta get you a gift or something. Sometimes the best gift is the gift of never seeing you again. Okay, all right. You must be Dr. House. And you must be full of baloney. Hmm. A lot of it. Oh, right, fat joke. Always fun. Only people you can still make fun of. And Christians. Oh, and black people. Why are you giving Adler steroids? Because she's my patient. That's what you do with patients, you give them medicine. You don't prescribe medicine based on guesses. At least we don't since Tuskegee and Mengele. You're comparing me to a Nazi? Nice. Not arrogant enough to think that of the 50 billion galaxies, 100 billion stars per galaxy, and 10 million billion planets in the universe, that we're the only ones with life. No. But I'm guessing we're the only ones who like shoving things through our back doors. This of yours really is an attractive quality. Thank you. It was either that or get my hair highlighted. Smugness is easier to maintain. Your girlfriend called the clinic 15 times looking for you today. Ha. Huh. A lot to discuss. China patterns. House. She's a stalker. Right. Couldn't be that she finds me interesting, attractive. It has to be that she's insane. She's called you 15 times. Your mother's not that interested in well, you. Well, maybe I'd be better adjusted if she was. I told you it would work. Work on the wrong patient. We could spend all day arguing right or wrong. Give me the hundred bucks. We didn't bet. We could spend all day arguing whether we bet or not. Give me the hundred bucks. You need to apologize to this guy. I'm a man of principle. I don't care how much time and money it costs you to defend me. Your real fear is me having a good relationship. Yes, that keeps me up at night. Dad and the Loch Ness Monster, global warming, evolution, other fictional concepts. It's usually worst in the morning, especially if I've slept on my arm. If I sleep on my back or you know, with my arms out, I'm usually okay. So your arm only hurts after you lie on top of it all night? Yeah. Hmm. Well, have you thought about, I don't know, not doing that? I got it. Start counting. How many? 26. OK. Either you suck at math, or you're going to die in two seconds. You suck at math. Uh, Don Herrick. Yeah, we connected through single ballroom dance lovers .com. Why would he volunteer that information? Why would I hide it? You didn't tell him that anything he said would be held against you. You can't just randomly stab the temporal lobe and hope you hit the right spot. I'm only gonna take little tiny pieces. Tell what? Till I find the problem. Or you kill him. No, nope, I'll keep going even if I kill him. What do you think of me hiring a nutritionist instead of a neurologist? I mean, they sound almost the same. I take it you've met a hot nutritionist. Don't cheapen this. Oh, almost forgot. I need to give a 16-year-old magic mushrooms to treat a cluster headache. Is that cool? Yeah, no problem. I was being sarcastic. Wouldn't look that way in the court transcript. If you're dying, suddenly everybody loves you. You have a cane. Nobody even likes you. What about terminal? You're really pathetic. You wouldn't believe the crap people let me get away with. If Chase screwed up so badly, why didn't you fire him? He has great hair. What are you hiding? A gay. Oh, that's not what you meant. It does explain a lot, though. No girlfriend, always with Wilson. Obsession with sneakers. Hello, sick people and their loved ones. In the interest of saving time and avoiding a lot of boring chit-chat later, I'm Dr. Gregory House. You can call me Greg. I'm one of three doctors staffing this clinic this morning. Short, sweet, grab a file. This ray of sunshine is Dr. Lisa Cuddy. Dr. Cuddy runs this whole hospital, so unfortunately she's much too busy to deal with you. I am a board certified diagnostician with a double specialty of infectious disease and nephrology. I'm also the only doctor currently employed at this clinic who's forced to be here against his will. That is true, isn't it? But not to worry, because for most of you, this job could be done by a monkey with a bottle of Motrin. Scan showed a mass on her pancreas. It's malignant, probably inoperable. I'd give it two months. On the bright side, still means I was right. How would you describe my leadership skills? Non-existent. Otherwise, excellent. There's more to being a leader than being a jerk. The world will never know. He swallowed a magnet. We got to cut it out. How old are you? Eight. 
he swallowed something stuck to a fridge. Darwin says let him die. The brain is not ready for surgery. Okay, well, let's leave it a couple of weeks. He should be feeling better by then. Oh, wait, which way does time go? Oxygen saturation is 94%. Check her heart. Her oxygen saturation is normal. It's off by one percentage point. It's within range, it's normal. If her DNA was off by one percentage point, she'd be a dolphin. Thank you very much. This guy's been working for me for a long time. And Can we get bonus points if I act like I care? If she's never kissed a boy, it's a fair bet she's never had sex. Tell that to all the hookers who won't kiss me on the mouth. Some people bottle up their feelings, have them come out as physical pain. Healthy human beings express feelings, such as affection, by giving gifts. Gifts express guilt. The more expensive the expression, the deeper the guilt. That's a $12 box. So either you haven't slept with her yet, or she wasn't that good. I've got the plague. Don't worry, it's treatable. Being a bitch, though. Nothing we can do about that. Merry Christmas. And a happy go to hell. His fingers are even darker, his temperature is 102 and spiking, and the x ray now shows lung infiltrates. Well, the good news is, he won't be bitching about losing his hand if he can't breathe. I just admitted the cartilage hair hypoplasia dwarf, 15 years old. What are you gonna do? I thought I'd get your theories, mock them, then embrace my own. The usual. What's the test say? As I suspected, you have significant losses in the upper right quadrant of your visual field. Are you serious? No, it's a joke. Two guys go into a bar, and one has significant losses in the upper right quadrant of his visual field, and the other one says, you're gonna need an MRI to confirm the type and location of the tumor. That readout says his vision's fine. We uh, loaded him full of prednisone to try to fix the liver. Good news is, he's running out of organs to fail. Patrick, I want you to pretend that your leg is a piano. My leg's not a piano. I know, that's why I said pretend. We've got rectal bleeding. What, all of you? Are you being intentionally dense? Huh? Dr. House, I don't think we've met. Dr. Jamie Conway, I've heard your name. Most people have. It's also a noun. Uh, what is this? He's not a what, he's a who. They even have the right to vote now. Excuse me. You stash your drugs in a lupus textbook. It's never lupus. Speaking of which, if you're particularly annoying, you may see me reach for this. This is Vicodin. It's mine. You can't have any. And no, I do not have a pain management problem. I have a pain problem. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm too stoned to tell. So, who wants me? And who would rather wait for one of the other two guys? Okay, well, I'll be in exam room one if you change your mind. 